When did you think of the idea for the film? It, it, I just, I think I was, it was soon after I watched Inception for about the 30 millionth time, and I was really inspired to, you know, just in general make a film of my own, and I started trying to think of ideas, and it really came to me as an idea to take someone with similar aspects of my personality and insert them into a ridiculously unreal and spectacular set of circumstances with maintaining a, a realistic environment and feel to the film. And to create that would be a challenge and, you know, a good experience for me, so that's, you know, how it came about. <laughs> I thought you were crazy. I, di I didn't think we could do a film like this, but when we went up to Bass Hill and to the Hilltop House and did some work with the teleportation and some of the shots, I actually I, I saw a lot of potential in the film and I it really sparked my interest that we could really make something out of this film. My character, Alex, uh, his is approached by uh, a very strange man, Elias. And Elias tells him that he can give him an opportunity of a lifetime working for him. And Alex, you know, after hearing Elias claim that he can give him, you know, the ability to essentially teleport, you know, Alex thinks this guy is crazy. And when he says no, they take his girlfriend and he's kind of forced to work for him and do what he doesn't want to do and it's basically a struggle of the wits, a battle of the wits to do good or bad to keep going or to you know set himself free and save his girlfriend. So that's basically what you're gonna see in the film is the majority of him trying to you know end this and get back to a normal life. But I can tell you that the numerous perks you receive involve access to some of the most exclusive technology in the world, generous salary, and the gameability of simulation transfer of environments. Wait, transfer of environments? Like, like that's... Teleportation of some color. We call it shifting. That, that particular part is required for the work. That's jumper status. You gotta be screwing with me. The hardest part, and we even pointed out in the film itself, is, <laughs> is jumper. If you've, if you've never seen that, don't watch it. <laughs> if you're gonna watch my film <laughs> or our film, um, because there are similarities, and people have to realize that it's a different story. It's the same concept of teleportation, but that's the concept itself. We're not copying. We just we just have to differentiate and hope people don't think that it's too similar. I hope people get out of this film that no matter what life and other people throw at you you can always find a way out and help people who are affected and by those same people that take you down and that nothing truly evil in this world survives without you know some little bit of good getting to it so don't want to sound too deep but that's what <laughs> i think so I, I really hope you enjoy it. It's a lot of storyline, it's a lot of movie, and it's going to be really, really good.